All right, now for Washington State um, versus George Washington. I uh, flip-flop saying that. Um, but I have George Washington winning. I don't know if this is an upset. Well, George Washington has a better record right now. So, um, yeah, and James Bishop, Ivy, has been another really guy um, that's going to be in this um, classic. Um, 22 points per game this season and five assists. Um, also, two rebounds. Brendan Adams has been really solid for them. Hunter Dean, I like what I'm seeing out of him. Noel Brown's been a really solid center. Um, but, yeah, and also Ricky Lindo Jr. is leading them in rebounds, steals, and blocks once again. Um, that was the same for Chatfield um, for Seattle. But I actually didn't know that. But, um, yeah, give me George Washington winning here uh, to move on to the next one. All right, so for Pepperdine versus Hawaii, give me Pepperdine here. Yeah, Maxwell Lewis, a guy that can potentially uh, be a first-round pick in the NBA draft. Yeah, Maxwell Lewis out of Pepperdine. I really like Pepperdine um, this season. Uh, Javon Porter is one of the most underrated freshmen, in my opinion, and a guy that I really like. Um, it's a really good player for them, already averaging 10 and seven for the waves um you know we'll see what we can get um or if we're able to get more play out of paul jordan he's a guy like houston mallet just an elite shooter um as well averaging 15 points per game um kind of maxwell loses a uh, partner there i guess and yeah, Malik Moore, another solid freshman. Um, but yeah, giving Pepperdine over Hawaii. Um, I still like Hawaii, though. I think they're really good. Um, more sec is I like for them. Ryan Rapp, Kameka Hepa as well. Another guy that can maybe make it to the NBA. Um, I don't know, though. We'll see. But I think uh, giving Pepperdine over Hawaii. Um, now let's go into the second round here and who's going to make it to the championship and all the place games. Um, yeah, so give me Iona over Seattle. I think they get it done once again. Um, give me Pepperdine over George Washington. Yeah, I have them going. I think Pepperdine Stevens, uh, is going to match up well against, um, and like their height as well, John Porter Reed, uh, Kind of have to see a big game out of him. And also, Carson Bashman is a guy that I didn't uh, mention for Pepperdine. But yeah, their defense is going to be after really good. Have to be really good to stop James Bishop IV um, to be George Washington. Um, but that's the championship game. Um, winning that game, I have as I am giving them beating Pepperdine. Um, and then for the. So, yeah, Pepperdine will be second. Iona first, Pepperdine second. Uh, and then I have George Washington. George Washington beating um, Seattle and beco- went, being, com- <laughs> oh my goodness, becoming third place in the Diamond Head Classic. Um, and then Seattle will be fourth, uh, fifth, fifth place game. So, to get it there, um, Utah State, I have them beating SMU. Um, and then I have them. I have Hawaii beating Washington State to move on to the fifth place game. I have Utah State winning that, so they'll be in fifth place. Hawaii will be in sixth place. Um, then Washington State versus SMU for the seventh place. I have Washington State winning that, and SMU will be in eighth place. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I think this is a really fun classic, and yeah, we'll see if uh, we'll see if there's any major upsets. I, I'm hoping there is. Um, but, yeah, let me guys think of this, subscribe for more college basketball content, or just any basketball content that I post on here, and yeah, I'll see y'all next one, peace. Alright, what is going on, everybody? So today I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions for the Diamond Head Classic, which takes place from December 22nd to Christmas, and yeah, let's just get into it, this is going to be featuring Iona, SMU, Seattle, Utah State, George Washington, Washington State, Pepperdine, and Hawaii. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. I think this will be a fun uh, classic. Um, it's been around for some time now. And, yeah, let's just get into it. 
Um, starting off, Iona versus SMU. I have Iona winning that game. Um, I just think uh, that Dennis Jenkins. Uh, maybe we'll see more of the freshman Silas Sunday. Um, Cruz Davis um, will be solid for them. Um, Nelly Jr. Joseph as well. I think they're just going to, you know, be their um, usual selves and just uh, shouldn't be able to win against SMU. I don't think Sir Phillips, although he's been really good, almost 20 points per game, he's a really good scorer and has two steals. Sir Phillips is really good, but I don't think that'll get the job done for them. Um, Samuel Williamson has also been solid for them. Jalen Smith, another solid guard for SMU. Uh, and then Effie Dokaji as well, but I don't think they get the drop done. I think I own a beats SMU. And yeah. All right, so now for uh, Utah State versus Seattle. I have Seattle upsetting Utah State. Seattle's gotten off. Like, actually, um, have like they have gotten off to a really good start, but Utah State's actually been better. Both teams have been really surprising this year, so this is going to be a great game. Um, but I have Seattle pulling off the upset, I guess, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Um, Cameron Tyson has been elite for them. Almost 24 points per game. Um, five rebounds as well. Just unbelievable shooting. Around 44% from three, which is also unbelievable. Brody Nunn, the freshman, averaging eight and a half points for Seattle. Um, yeah, really good freshman for them so far. Glad, um, glad to see that he's playing well. Um, Kobe Williamson's been uh, solid as well. Brandon, Brandon Chatfield um, is leading them in steals and blocks and rebounds uh, for Seattle. So they've got a good all-around team. Utah State is still really good. Um, Steven Ashworth is a guy I really like for them. Ryland Jones is solid. Um, Sean Bearstow is um also really solid but yeah giving me seattle pulling off the upset 